We know in wartime death and serious injury are ever present. During World War II, this was no different. Armies on both sides of the conflict would employ specific roles for men on the front lines to care for their wounded. These men, known as medics, were thrust into the relentless chaos and destruction of battle. These unsung heroes stood as a beacon of hope, offering solace and care amidst the horrors of war. In today's video, we look at the sacrifice and extraordinary resilience of these courageous individuals and ask the question, how hard was life as a World War II medic? If you enjoy this video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button. It's free and really helps the channel reach more history lovers like you. For World War II, medics underwent rigorous training that was comparable to their infantry counterparts. With one crucial distinction, they were unarmed. In some cases, they were initially dismissed by their fellow soldiers. These medics swiftly earned the profound respect and admiration of their comrades through their unwavering dedication to save lives. Far from the relative safety of field hospitals, these brave medics found themselves thrust into the very heart of combat. Shoulder to shoulder with infantrymen, they marched alongside troops during offensives, facing the same dangers and perils on the front lines. Their presence brought reassurance and comfort to the weary men facing this terrible war. First and foremost, medics were on the front lines for one purpose. They were there to provide immediate medical treatment to soldiers who needed help quickly. They received extensive training in first aid, battlefield medicine, and emergency procedures. They were given the responsibility of administering help, which involved stopping bleeding, dressing wounds, and immobilizing fractures to prevent further damage. They then assessed the severity of injuries and prioritised treatment based on the principle of triage. They determined who needed immediate attention and who could wait based on those injuries and the likelihood of the soldier's survival. Next came evacuation. They facilitated the movement of wounded soldiers from the front line to field hospitals or aid stations for further treatment. They often had to transport injured soldiers on stretchers or in vehicles, braving enemy fire and harsh conditions. Regardless of which country they fought for, the vast majority of World War II medics were adorned with the unmistakable Red Cross symbol on their helmets. This was intentional as they sought protection under the sanctity of the Geneva Convention. The visual marker designated them as non-combatants, allowing them to provide crucial medical aid without becoming primary targets. Apart from helmets, white armbands affixed with a red cross were also commonly worn. Their equipment included extra carry bags or modified suspenders. This would hold their medical supplies which included bandages, antiseptics, medications and pain relievers. Also within their kits were basic medical tools including clamps, scissors and tweezers. Apart from frontline work on wounded soldiers, they also had other roles to play. Medics set up and operated field dressing stations, which were temporary medical facilities near the front line. Here they provided emergency treatment, performed minor surgeries, and prepared soldiers for further evacuation. In addition to physical injuries, medics also provided support and care for soldiers experiencing combat stress, also known as shell shock or combat fatigue. They offered comfort, counselling and reassurance to help soldiers cope with the psychological effects of warfare. In war, hygiene and sanitation is very important, and medics promoted these practices among soldiers to prevent the spread of disease and infections. They worked long hours without respite, often under intense pressure and in the midst of ongoing combat. Yet, their commitment to saving lives remained unyielding. The challenges faced by World War II medics were compounded by the harsh conditions of the battlefield. They operated in all weather conditions, enduring scorching heat, bone-chilling cold and torrential rain. These environments had obvious impacts on their ability to treat wounded soldiers and required them to think more carefully when taking their climate into account. With different theatres of war also came different enemy combatants. 
For the most part, medics weren't directly targeted by soldiers. For example, in North Africa and the Middle East, medics were treated very well by opposing forces. In Western Europe, much the same occurred. However, on the Eastern Front, there are many examples of medics being targeted by both sides. But it's perhaps in the Pacific theatre which saw them treated the worst. Essentially, in the latter stages of the war, any enemy soldier became fair game, and there's many recorded instances of medics being targeted. Perhaps one of the best examples of a medic's incredible work during the war was that of Desmond Doss. He was a medic in the US Army, and took part in the invasion and capture of Okinawa, an island in the Pacific. After his unit was pushed back from a ridge by the Japanese, Doss, alone, systematically brought back 75 of his own men to safety. His actions resulted in him being awarded the Medal of Honor. The sacrifices made by World War II medics extended far beyond their own personal well-being. They often had to make heart-wrenching decisions in the field, determining who would receive immediate care and who would have to wait. These choices weighed heavily on their conscience, as they grappled with the tremendous responsibility of allocating limited resources. The dedication and expertise of medics on all sides played a pivotal role in reducing mortality rates on the battlefield. Their swift responses and effective medical care saved countless lives that would have otherwise been lost. Their contribution cannot be understated, as they worked tirelessly to stabilise wounded soldiers, providing a ray of hope amidst the chaos and despair of war. Do you think medics had one of the hardest jobs during World War II? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.